Hello. Yeah. Good morning, folks. We are Team Bala. We are here to present our service, which provides financial autonomy to Indian women. This is Reena. Married as soon as she graduated, her father managed her finances until then, and now it's her husband who takes care of it. She never actually felt the need to take control until both of her kids moved out for college. Wanting to take up sewing again, which had always been her hobby, she asked her husband for a sewing machine. He flat out said a no, not seeing the need. This was when she realized that even after so many years, if she truly wanted something, she still needed his permission. It's not just Veena. This is the story of a lot of people. 67% of the global population is financially illiterate. And this number rises to an alarming 80% when we talk about Indian women, financially illiterate and dependent. So, why does this happen? Among these points which are mentioned here, um, the core reason is that the patriarchal Indian society has conditioned these women to not even think about finances in the first place. Despite this situation though, Indian women have organized themselves into these informal um, savings clubs called kitty parties for generations. What exactly is a kitty party? Let's say that there are 10 women who want to save money together. So each month they put in 1000 rupees per person and that comes up to a sum of 10,000 rupees. Now, one of these women is selected at random and she gets to take home the 10,000 rupees sum for that month. This process repeats every month until each woman has a turn. This provides them all a big purchasing power at once. And as the name suggests, of course, they party, they have fun, and they play games. That is exactly where we come in. Project Bala provides these women opportunity to enable educated dialogues about finances in this setting which has existed for generations. Here's a video which explains our concept more. The usual vessel for nourishment in an Indian kitchen are about to store something more than rice and pulses today. Empowerment. Bala utilizes these steel containers with the aim of repurposing the packaging after purchase. Moving on to the game kit, which consists of four components, the main IP, which is the Ghar Kharch card game, the Finn Tash card deck, and two more collective effort games in the form of puzzles and word searches. These components are infused with different aspects and levels of financial literacy. All of them were developed and validated with multiple game designers and testers. We conducted in-depth research and play tests with four kitties comprising about 35 to 40 women. Their feedback and support helped us make the games more nuanced and relevant to them. Further, these games are incentivized with discount and coupons from many Indian-centric brands as winning prizes, replicating the culture of gifting in kitties. Winners can claim prizes after completing the games and redeeming the vouchers through the app. This encourages them to join the Bala community where they get to take further steps in their journey towards financial autonomy. Okay, uh, so the game kit offers two learning approaches, active and passive. Since kitty happens, uh, kitty party happens monthly, the, game, the, kids have, the, the theme of the games also change on a monthly basis. Uh, the active portion simulates the financial experiences for the targeted theme, uh, which creates active dialogue. For example, this month, April, the focus is diversification. So the active game, which is the Ghar Kharch, includes risk assessment, budgeting, uh, return of interest for various kind of investments into its gameplay. So that's the takeaway for the women. Whereas the passive part provides simplified bite-sized information of the theme, and it also promotes group participation uh, for easy learning. So moving on uh, to the business roadmap, which is laid in three phases. Uh, this is the BMC for the first phase. Uh, it's also worth noting that majority of women-centric fintech companies have not successfully reached this particular target demographic in India. So let's emphasize how Bala is different. Uh, we have identified kitty parties as channels to ignite this initial spark and generate uh, interest in personal finances by exposing a physical product into their uh, environment, which establish, connect to the brand and the content within it. Uh, obviously, it's a circle of women who are friends. So 
uh, whatever it creates a perfect environment for them to learn uh, finances together. We also have incentivized games and uh, we also intend to hire women workers from SRGs and NGOs uh, we, who will be incorporated in the production uh, process. So the cost of one manufacturing kit is about $4.20, which is 350 rupees. And the revenue streams would be direct sales from this, uh, the subscription model I mentioned, and affiliate revenue. Uh, moving on to the second phase, uh, which is where we onboard these women, and we will give them. So, the, oh, okay. So the first phase is where we get these women to be onboarded into our online platform, and here, when they're finally onboarded, we give them more comprehensive financial education, which is created with collaborations um, with organizations such as Khan Academy, PaisaBazaar.com in India, which uh, already have content uh, existing. Uh, and finally, in the third phase, we will provide them access to women-centric investment platforms, uh, guide them in their entrepreneurial journey, and access to capital, so that they can have, um, uh, they can use their learnings and be more uh, financially independent. At the end, Bala aims to enable 55 million women to have financial independence and have secure lifespans. In the next slide, we can see how inculcating financial literacy habits right at the cusp of marriage will equip women in making smarter choices at the key transitions in their life, which will obviously reflect to uh, a secure retirement and overall a happier life. And at the end, uh, Veena, after one of her friends introduced Bala to their kitty, uh, she has not only gained confidence to save up and buy her sewing machine that she wanted to buy, but also is exploring other options uh, to start a business of her own. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. How would you envision the onboarding process working? And how many other uh, companies are competing for this market in, in India? So there are companies which are competing in the fintech market. In fact, for our initial research, we talked with the product designers and one of these such companies. Um, but the problem is that they have not been able to find this sort of channel to um, basically get entry into this particular segment, right? Now, for the onboarding aspect, we have... So we have our channels. Um, essentially, we'll start with pop-up stores. So these venues, um, where kitty parties happen, there are specific ven venues and uh, party organizers are there. So we'll collaborate with those people. There are events where banks in India have collaborated with kitty party organizers or women who host kitty parties and try to provide some entry into banking. So we can also collaborate with them. And like Sarah mentioned, um, the gaming kit is one part. It's basically a ladder of sort. You get the gaming kit, then to avail the prizes, you have to install the app through which we incent incentivize them more and they get onboarded onto the app and that essentially leads to the final stage of our service. Do you, um, in this approach with the subscription model, your tactic would then mean that you're constantly creating new, you know, you constantly have to create new content for the these people who, like, what's the average life of your of your product? So, um, kitty parties happen each month. This is a recurring event, like we mentioned. And in this thing, they usually last about a year. So we plan to spread out the core concepts of financial literacy into month-wise uh, data. The core structure of the game will remain the same, but these have nuanced or culturally um, relatable content though that these women can relate to. And they see this thing, these things happening in their real life. So they can compare or they can see, oh, I could have done this differently, or I can do this in my real life, which will help me improve, etc. So the general life will be around an year. It will distribute the 
respondents of financial literacy the core pillars in two different segments like for the first one or like in this game it's diversification and like with budgeting investment retirement so that thing. so what's the penetration of the Khan Academy in India and would these moms be also potential users of that already and they, could they be a strategic partner for you? So Khan Academy currently targets the school um, audience. Like, they provide education to them. And personally, even I have used it during my school time. But they, they do create content on financial literacy. But the women or the elderly, they do not consume that sort of content. What we plan to do is, we plan to collaborate with Khan Academy, create more culturally nuanced content, which these women can again relate with. And yeah, so we bring the knowledge of financial literacy to them. We bring the cultural context, which we are providing, and we create a content that they can access through our platform. We've got 30 seconds. Yeah, so how are you thinking of language across India and any specific areas in India you want to start with? So we are starting this project or this product in Delhi. Um, the concept of Kedi Bhadis is more popular in the northern belt of India, which has primarily Hindi language, which is also what's written on the concept. The name Bala means a girl or a woman. So we start with the northern belt, but even in the south, there's a version of this called Chit funds. Now that is more money based, it's but organized. it's it's more organized than uh, kitty parties. But we do plan to go over there as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.